Decision time. Our panelists heard those two different business pitches, and here's a recap. Our first entrepreneur was Adam Bronson, founder of buyandbrag.com. Whoever the retailer is, small, medium, or large, can list an offering which is seen by many people and can be taken by many people or not. Then we heard from Dalia Astrobadi, founder and CEO, Real Sociable. We have developed a patent pending technology that filters social noise and presents actionable insights that are aligned with your business goals. Larry Wasser, can I start with you? Would you put money into buyandbrag.com, Larry? I don't think so. Uh, great kind of marketing guy, good name, but I didn't really get anything in the pitch that sold me enough to say this is something I'd really want to put my money into. Part of the success in a pitch to somebody that's going to give you money at them as a piece of advice would be give them enough meat to put on the bone to say, geez, this is really good and compelling and I want to put money in it, or at least I want to learn more. And it may be you're just early, but I didn't get enough today out of that 90 seconds and the follow-on questions that told me that. Jacqueline, would you put money into buyandbrag.com? I, I wouldn't, Adam, because I wasn't convinced that you're not trying to be everything to everybody because eBay started small on one, like Beanie Babies or something, I'm not sure, but anyway, so that would be my concern. I don't, was it Pez or Beanie Babies? Well, I, I'm just remembering that they said Beanie Babies, but they actually fabricated that story, oh, I'm told. Goodness. You would know the inside scoop there. I, I wouldn't, but, but I, <laughs> I, would say, I would say, and not to pile on, but on that same, that same vein is that eBay did start with two or three very niche markets, and they were, you know, Pez Collector, and there were Beanie Baby aspects to it, and there were Car Parts aspects to it, because those were... The, the sort of three areas that resonated from the traditional world where people went and traded stuff traditionally and that's how they got their start. They didn't go horizontal for, you know, five years into their business. So you would not be, be moving forward with Bragg, no. uh, buying Bragg.com right now? No. The panel cautious, Adam. It, was that helpful, though, look at the feedback? Um, it was in, I think that if I was sitting on the panel, I would say no to buy and Bragg as well because I'm restricted by this being live television. And we have a lot of IP that I just can't announce because there's, this is certainly a very hot space. All I, can, all I can say is that I appreciate the comments and that I would love to dig in and show you the meat because you're absolutely right, Larry. Absolutely right. What about so, the criticism that you're just too broad brush right now? Well, uh, let's use eBay as the example that you've used. eBay started off because they had an interest in Pezzes or Beanie Babies, I don't remember what it was either, and I've eBayed for a long time. Um, well, we're starting off uh, with a solution for businesses to sell online. And all businesses, small, medium, and large, are desperate for something. Our research has showed that, so maybe we are starting out with a bit of a horizontal uh, framework, Derek, and I accept that, and we think that we can meet the challenge. Let's move on. Larry Wasser, would you put money into Real Sociable? Yeah, I like Dahlia. Um, did a good job of getting the story across. Uh, I think that your marketing and, and kind of your uh, ex uh, ex uh, excitement is really coming through, and I think that's what people who are going to invest money want to see. Thank you. Uh, and I like the fact you have customers. Customers is a major milestone mm -hmm. for me because once you can get that very first customer, I think the second, the third, the fourth, they follow quickly. And uh, once you have a reference like that, it's a lot easier not only to get more customers, but to get money. So you would, it would potentially move forward? Yeah, I mean, it's early, but uh, it's definitely something I'd be interested in. Jacqueline? Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I really like Dahlia. She's uh, obviously very entrepreneurial. I think she's very dedicated. She's not going to run off and get a job at uh, Rim um, if things go badly. Um, so yeah, I, I would say yes. Thank you. Derek? Uh, it's too early for my firm, but but certainly as as a an investor with a network, um, Dahlia is very credible, and I would make definitely go out of my way to make introductions for sure. Oh, you're getting a green light there, Dahlia. Was that helpful for you? It was extremely helpful. Thank you. It's uh, we're sort of coming out of the closet now. I think we've been too technical over the last year, and I think uh, this is definitely uh, words of encouragement to get us hitting the road and apply more sales focus, so I appreciate it. Thank what, you. What about the swamping factor? I just don't have time to be messing around with these social media sites. Well, well that's actually our value proposition, is right. we are no longer uh, able to spend time being able to sort of sift through different social media sites to find those golden nuggets. 
we take care of that for you and not only do that for you but find the insights that can help you sort of hit that person on, on first call. So we're really looking forward to the multiple verticals we can hit, but to Derek's point, which is very well taken, our niche, niche focus around winning one vertical to start is really what we're focused on. Thanks so much for joining us, Dahlia and Adam. Thank you so much. And thanks very much to our distinguished panel as well, Larry Wasser, Jacqueline Lowen, Derek Smith. We are out of time on today's show. Thanks for watching The Pitch. Remember, get your ideas and your pitches into the pitch at bnn.ca. And we'll be back the same time next week.